Okay, guys, uh, today we want to finish off phenol. Uh, last uh, lesson, we actually talked about uh, the acidity. Remember, we focused on this part here, part B here. Oh, uh, sorry, I need to go to pen first. Okay. We use a B, okay? Right. Uh, this was the part here, okay? We talk about the acidities. We compare the acidities of this uh, three things: water, put here water. Okay, phenol. Phenol, remember, just to refresh your mind, is actually a aromatic. <clears throat> it's an aromatic alcohol. Aromatic. Aromatic means a ring and salt. Okay, alcohol. No. Okay, or you see, now normally aliphatic alcohol is a straight chain, isn't it? Uh, you can exemplify it by your ethanol. Okay, you always compare with something here. And of, of course, even you talk about hexanol, this is also considered, even it's a ring here, but it's all saturated, okay? Uh, this one here, right? It's got hexanol. Hexanol. Now this is considered is carbon here and carbon here. There's a little question on this, okay? So let's you see first, okay? Now these are all hydrogen here, right? So hydrogen here, C not, okay? Four one, uh, okay? Sp three, Sp three is in. These are hexanol. It is still considered it's considered as a aliphatic alcohol, right? Because of Sp three, right? So here. Now, what kind of alcohol is this? Remember, carbon OH. This will tell you that it's an alcohol group. Huh? Now, this is an R group. Not this whole thing is an R R group here. So, so R group here, which means the secondary alcohol. Okay. So you can see that this hexanol here reacts as if it's an aliphatic secondary alcohol. Whereas phenol, right? Phenol here. I will draw it here, just to refresh your memory on the different properties. I mean, there's a ring here, so we put a uh, the pile electron cloud on top here and bottom here. Remember? Okay, so the oxygen here and the hydrogen here, right? Remember, all the reactions of this one here are for the primary alcohol. Two parts. If the CO bond breaks, is you you break here, it will be what kind of reaction? Nucleophilic substitution, HCl, HBr. HBr is quite common, okay? And HCl concentrated, okay, concentrated. Right? Not equals, uh, equals cannot, cannot, equals cannot. And of course, if you break this bond here, it acts as acid, isn't it? Right? This acts as acid. So, in here, same thing. So, this hexanol will have the same reaction as your ethanol. Okay, also for oxidation, also can. Right? For oxidation, this one here, for oxidation, remember, for your primary alcohol, oxygen give you what? Give you your carboxylic acid, yeah. Carboxylic acid. And here will give you what? Your ketone. Right? But here, cannot. Because the OH bond cannot break. Okay, so this one, remember, overlaps here. So it will this will de uh, delocalize electrons right here. So make the ring more reactive, okay? So, but uh, here we'll break. As it pulls, as the ring pulls electrons inside right here, as the ring pulls electrons right here, right? Where's the ring? The C6H5 is an electron withdrawing, withdrawing group. Okay, therefore it will, it will delocalize or uh, we call this a, uh, what a, there's a, I just skip my mind. Uh, delocalize or make this spawn weaker, okay? Right? Um, okay, so the, the body will break, and this is a more acidic. So here we have dealt with in part B. That's not part B, okay? Now today we want to talk about um, here. i put another color, la, so you can see green color. Green, okay. We talk about this, this part here. Except, one, two, three, four, except number three. Number three, we'll come to it later when you do your final in your okay, okay? Right? So with the base, with sodium, 
and with brumination. Now here I want to include one more thing which always come up, okay? Because base normally it refers to sodium hydroxide, okay? But base also can refer to one more thing called sodium carbonate, which is very useful to talk about. So there are three. There's sodium, sodium hydroxide, and sodium carbonate. And it comes up two times it came up in questions. I will just show you, okay? So now I'm going to uh, go, remember, today we're dealing with the finished, we'll finish uh, finals today and look at some of the questions, how they were asked. Okay, remember, I will not be doing, I'll give you another color lah, so that you can remember, okay, what color should be, purple color. This one, diagem salt, is, will be much later, okay? So remember, this one is much later, not today. Today we'll finish off phenols with all these reactions. Okay, now let's look at the, the whole thing first. Now I'm going to put the whole thing here, right? Now here, uh, you can see, I don't know why it's jamming. I think because I didn't off it at night. Now here, the whole thing is here, okay? So you can refer to it, but I want to uh, give you the big picture first, right? So I'm going to give you a, I'll find a, a, a nice blank, blank spot here. Okay, here, nice blank spot. Okay, now when you talk about uh, phenol, purple color. Okay. Now I can draw much better. Uh, six times experience already. Okay, remember, right? We are talking about uh, reactions of this group here. Both are, this group here, this one here, all right? Is acidic reactions, okay? Over here, this side chain. Okay, right? So if we talk about with sodium, now remember it X and X is acid. X, S, and acid, which means the H plus will come up. Now one year they actually ask you for the equation now, which is this one here. Okay, five OH. You can put plus equals, plus equals. This is reversible, remember this is acceptable. S and acid, okay, they ask you, give me an equation to show phenol is an acid. Okay, O minus plus H plus. Of course, it's good, you could put equals here, okay? Just to show the, you know, that this water here, equals here. Or you can, now this is showing that your phenol here is a acid. What acid? Proton donor, is it not? Yeah? Proton donor. Proton donor. You see this, uh, this Huion, uh, blah, 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 standard, I can save, you know, so it's very good. So I actually asked you to buy that you can. You can afford 130 bucks on here, it's very cheap. I mean, ah, okay, I don't talk about it, since I promote this first. Now, okay, I can put C6H5OH, right? And plus NaOH. Of course, I don't can put NaOH here, I can put this OH minus here, okay? It will give you what? Okay, give you, uh, get out the, the H, now give you C6H5O minus one. Okay, you want to put like that plus your H2O. Okay, of course, if you use any which here, here's using only an iron, so it's still a proton donor. But of course, you can put the whole thing here, C6H5OH plus any which also can, also can. This, all these, all these three equations, huh? one, two, three equations are to show that your phenol is acidic. It's a proton donor. Okay, it goes to one direction, huh? C6H5O. O minus and Na plus. You can put a dot here uh, to be perfect, but don't have two. Lah. You have to put H2O here. What is called sodium phenoxide, okay? Sodium is called phenoxide. P-H-E phenoxide, okay? Right? Now, here, as an acid here, now remember there are three reactions. I'm, going to, I'm just going to go quickly before I go to the, okay? There's sodium here, sodium hydroxide here, and of course there's sodium carbonate, which I'll explain later, okay? okay? I won't go through now, these are things here. But the other part, of course, is the ring reaction. Ah, remember I told you that the lone pair here overlaps with the what? The pi electrons, you know, the pi electrons, I'm gonna use the cursor here. The pi, the, the, the benzene ring here, okay? The pi electron cloud here making this uh, ring here more reactive, okay now. So here, 
Remember? All right. If you want to draw again, uh, uh, so you are uh, numbskulls, okay? Okay, let me stop here. So it's good to draw and draw again if you're not familiar. First time, uh, not familiar one, isn't it? The O and the H here. Remember that, okay? So now this is your pi electron cloud. Okay? So this electron cloud is, is going to be attacked by what? The X minus plus, you know, this is your electrophile. So normally electrophile is positive charge, right? But, 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 if the ring, if the ring here is being enriched, the electron density has density has increased. Okay, why? Because of the, of the lone pair of electrons of your P orbitals of your uh, oxygen or NH2 also can, ah, here, right? They would delocalize, not they come inside here, okay? So here, the lone pair electron weapons, the lone electron pair of the P orbitals of what? To be perfect of oxygen overlaps, not overlaps. With what? With the pi electron cloud. Right? Therefore, what happens? Increasing the electron density. And what happens? Therefore, right? That means that uh, you increase the reactivity, is it? Reactivity of what? Of the ring towards what? Of, of the ring of the C6H5 towards what? Towards electrophilic what? Felix, I must improve by writing a uh, uh, substitution. Therefore, if that's the case here, ah, that means if I want to bromine it, okay, bromine the ring, I just put Br2 equals as well. Ah, last time I said Br2. Can I put equals? And Fe, C, uh, Br3, is it? No need. Okay, now only sun and equals room temperature, RTP. And the bromine, because the OH here is electron donating, okay, it will activate two and four, right? Two, sorry, two, four, six shape. So actually you get a tribromono, very interesting one. Here is a way to show the difference between a, 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 a aliphatic alcohol and a, 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 what, a, a phenol. You get three pies. Three values go inside, no? Fantastic. You have a tribromo. And this is a white PPT. This is a test. It's a tri, it's called tribromo. Tribromo phenol. Okay. And it's white. The you can see that's how you show a difference. Show the difference between a, a, a hexanol and a phenol. Okay. Bromine. Aqueous. Room temperature. Okay. Or that, that's why. The OH activates the ring. Okay, now. Okay, activates here, activates the ring. But that one, of course, how it activates the ring, I, I did you before the, the, the first session of, of, of the phenol, is, of course, nitric acid. Remember, to, to, uh, to nitrate it. All you need is your HNO3. Aqueous, my friend. Or they say dilute. Remember, now, I told you before, wasn't it? Dilute. Very important. Okay? I think it's here, if, you, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, not here. They, they, uh, put dilute. Very important. Right here, isn't it? Okay? HNO3, I did before, isn't it? Dilute. Ah, as a condition for it to nitrate the ring here. Okay? Very important, huh? So, because it activates. Now, these are the two main things, but all the others can. Okay? You can put a CH, CH3 here, so it will activate the ring. Okay? The, the OH, sorry. Okay? So this, this one I've covered now here already, all right? So you can see here, this are, these are the, all the reactions, right? Now one more just to remind you, uh, because after you can see, uh, they always come up, all right? Here is, uh, let's, say now from, let's say from here. This is of course, remember I have nitrated my phenol. This nitration, then 
ah, we dilute nitric acid because why? This OH activates the ring due to the resonance effect or the lone pair here able to what? To, uh, uh, what is this? Uh, Delocalize itself into the ring, is it? Okay. Now, if I want to, if I want to react with this, this fellow here, very often come up because you need to do the NH2. Remember, any NO2 in the ring uh, right, uh, can be reduced. It means uh, I'm going to take away the oxygen reduction. Remember, I told you these two groups here, two, two, this, this is called, this is called disubstituted, disubstituted, okay? Disubstitute, uh, ED la, sorry, ED, okay? Uh, phenol. Alright? They act independently. That means if I, if I use a reducing agent, I can just, this fellow can get reduced, this can be reduced, okay? Here. So, the famous, norm is tin plus concentrated, remember, HCl, and heat better, all right? And you will get this one here, always come around, so you better be careful, better remember this now. Of course, you do this again later, all right? NH2, ah, this is your aniline, okay? Amine, all right, it's an amine. Okay, here's it. Of course, here, if you uh, were to reduce on here, you get your NH3 here, uh, NH2 here. Okay, so it's the same thing. Okay, so now we have finished. We have finished. Remember here, you can see we have finished. I'll go to all the nitty gritty after, okay? We have finished all the big picture of the reaction. Where is the good look? I don't know why it's jamming. 58. See, jamming, I don't know why. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You put too long. Never mind. We will we will still do it. Remember, failing the plan is kind of fail. Okay, now remember we have done all the reactions. All here. Right? Everything ready except this fellow here. Okay? So now I'm going to go through something uh, 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 more uh, detailed with bases and sodium. Okay, this one here and with certain carbonate to show you how it can happen. And also then summary of the whole thing, how it come up as a whole thing, all right? So you can be uh, well equipped. Okay, now let's uh, look at here first. I'm gonna go to the theory, uh, I'll give you a brief view of the theory and then look at two questions, how it comes out. So at least you can know, uh, no, I'm not talking nonsense, okay? Now here, now the theory is that demonstrating experimentally the acidity between uh, ethanol, which is the aliphatic, this aliphatic, remember, aliphatic, they always use an aliphatic alcohol. This is your, what, uh, aromatic alcohol. Okay, the ring, no, if not. And of course, your aromatic here is your benzoic acid. Why benz? Benzoic, why benz? Six plus one carbon. Okay, seven carbon. Six carbon is fin, like phenoxide, benzoic acid. Okay, right. Now with three things here, sodium, base, uh, sodium is a metal, it's actually a base, no? That's an electron donor. Okay, uh, it's Lewis base and Lewis acid. Never mind, you don't have, don't have to learn that because that I should, I thought before that day, lah, okay. Uh, sodium hydroxide, which is also a base, and sodium carbon is also a base. Now the, 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 the basic character of this one here has a, has a well, strong, but this very strong base. This is a strong or medium base. This is a weak, this is a weak base. Okay, you can put the, uh, like, you know, uh, the trend in this way. Of course, here you can also come, uh, for acid, you can also put water inside. Okay, water, right? But here I don't want to put water, I, because I want to compare this tray. After you see the question come up with water. Okay, you see afterwards, okay? So now here, just to give you a brief uh, view of uh, the reaction, okay, when you compare weak and strong acids and weak or acids and weak base or whatever. Like. Okay, now here I put uh, three things here. I look at it carefully, I have my cursor, I can see. Acids can be weak acid, medium acid, strong acid. Uh, base and strong acid, weak, medium acid. You can compare like uh, 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 guys here, guys and girls here, whatever. Like. Uh, weak means a uh, very shy girl. Uh, here's a word media, but here's a very strong girl who can mix around and talk a lot and very strong character. 
Here you have a strong guy. Oh, we can talk like crazy. Can can mix anybody want to talk easy. Medium means a medium uh, Sometimes can talk. Sometimes can talk. But here's a very shy boy. So he's a very strong boy. He can actually make friends with uh, the weak girl. No, he can chat her up. Uh, the medium can also can. Strong also can, right? If it's, if it's a it's a, it's a medium character guy with a weak guy with a weak girl cannot talk. No, 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 no. But with a medium girl can talk. Uh, with a strong girl, oh, can talk also. So same thing. A weak, a weak shy boy with a shy girl cannot talk. What? Shy, uh, a weak, weak uh, shy boy with a medium girl cannot. But weak boy with a strong girl can because she will initiate it. So you can see here the kind of reaction. Uh, okay, just to make it. Now here you can see. I put it in this way so it, uh, it, it's easy for you to see. Now, sodium is actually a very strong base. You can see it's a strong base, but it's a very strong electron donor. Uh, sodium monoxide, we normally say it's a strong base, but comparatively wise, sodium monoxide and sodium yeah, is a weaker base. So it's a, a medium base. Sodium carbonate is a base, so because can write with acid or not. Okay? So, but it's the weakest of all the three bases. Okay, so you need to know this, uh, the trend, the trend of the basic character. Okay, of these three substances. First, they will ask you sodium, sodium monoxide, and sodium carbonate. These are all base, and the strength of the base is according to here. So, as you go up here, if you go up here, right, you increase in strength of basicity. Okay, basicity. All right. So, here, of course, you can have acids. So here, benzoic acid is a very weak acid, okay, right? But it's weak, it's strong enough for the reaction. And of course, your, we've done it before, huh? because the CO bond, remember, the, the, the double bond here? Huh? You first, huh? I tell you. Okay, the ring here. This C carbon ion group here withdraws electron. But the, the ring also withdraws electron. Therefore, this is highly polarized. Okay, highly polarized or electron density is uh, well more to one side, so it can break easily. Okay, where else this one here? Okay, only the ring only will withdraw the electron. Say the phenol. Okay, only got the ring withdraw electron. So lack of this one here. So this one here is worse. This on C two H five. Right, inductive effect, why? This other is electron dominating, isn't it? So here is less polarized or less distorted. Ah, the two words, polarized and distorted. Polarized and distorted. These two words are used heavily. Ah, the OH bond, okay now. So more polarized means it's weaker. More distorted means weaker, that means it will become stronger as it is not. Okay, think about it. You can rewind the video and think about what I said. All right, so here for this for this tree here, going up here also will increase in strength of the acid, okay? Or increase in acidity. Like. Okay, now in that case here, what do we see of reaction? Now this is, I got this from a good book. So I used to use this, book, this book when it was uh, Form 6. Uh, no, uh, it's very good. Holderness. You, you gotta grab it, you wanna read that. Uh, you, you don't read that now, my. Because uh, nowadays they cover so much other things as well. So there's a very good Holderness uh, organic chemistry. The blue color you can find it anywhere. Okay, now here, they actually asked, you know, before we look into this, I want to let you see how the question comes up. So when you look at this, uh, you can briefly, in your mind, okay? Uh, see what you're going to say about it now, page 71. 71. All right. Yeah, what's, I want to do this uh, homework thing. Now, yeah, right. now, uh, now, here, I quickly go, go through you first. Uh. Now, remember this compound here. You see this, 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 this compound here. E, right? Okay. Now, this, they ask you what are the two functional groups of E. Of course, this one here, you need to know here is your, what is this? Ah, huh? O is it right? Make sure not do ah. Huh? O is not here, huh? you idiots. Okay, C two H five. Okay, and with the ring here, and an O H group. You don't know, draw the whole thing out. So this is an ester group, very important, because 
uh, when you use sodium hydroxide here, uh, you know, this one here, it can undergo hydrolysis then, right? So now there are two, your, your uh, phenol, this is called a phenol group, no? Because it comes the whole thing. So you ask it for two functional groups, it's called it's a phenol group and an ester group. Now, look, look at the markings here. You don't believe look at the markings here. Okay, this is uh, 0, 3. 0, 3, 0, 3, okay, here. Right? Okay, see, phenol. Ah, huh? phenol. The 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 mark you say here, right? Phenol. Oh, I need to put the cover. Good way, uh, okay. See? So the functional group is called phenol, right? Of course, ester. Okay. Ah, uh, this one is it. This is ester is it. Okay. Phenol. Phenol, that means that the OH. You just can't say alcohol. You say alcohol, you must say primary alcohol, secondary alcohol, tertiary alcohol. So it's called phenol. Because it goes with the ring. I said, okay, don't care about all, all the others. Of course, the benzene, the A ring, is also a functional group, but not very good. Lah. These two are the main one. Okay, now, so just to show you how the marking scheme is. So, here, so this is basically phenol group now. Remember, phenol, here is your, uh, uh, see, uh, this is a primary alcohol. See, uh, it's primary alcohol. Why? What, what, what makes a primary alcohol? Who can tell me? Shout, I can hear you. Shout, I can hear you. Uh, never mind. Now, this is your R group here. Not? So, CH2OH will tell you that it is a primary alcohol. Not? Ah, so they test you on primary alcohol, phenol, and of course, here, this part here don't care. Now, this is actually an ether. R O R. Don't care. It's not in the syllabus. So, this part here it tells you it's a carboxy acid. Right? Uh, it's a benzoic acid sort of uh, mother. No? Okay? So, the three. If you want to put it down here, I'll just give you a wall first. Uh. Okay, I'll explain this later. All right, remember this is your uh, uh, CO2, I think it's CH3, isn't it? Let me just check. Uh. Uh, C or C2H5, not CH3. CH2 and this C2H5. This is your S now. Here, ah, see that? This is your E, isn't it? Yep. So, Remember, this is a phenol group, this is a carboxylic group, and this is your alcohol group. Ah, see, they ask you for order of acid strength. So, which is the strongest? Of course, your benzoic acid. Yeah. So, it's G, stronger than who? Then comes your, ah, your, your phenol or your alcohol? Of course, phenol. Then, of course, your alcohol is last name F. See that? So, here you can see the marking scheme. I'll let you. See what uh, this is. I cheat you. Zero three. Zero three here. Okay. Ah, G E F. What is it? G E F. Okay. Right now, here this is the part. Okay, which they use. See sodium hydroxide and sodium carbonate based on their relative acidities. Ah, so it suggests how samples E F and G could be distinguished. The word here, distinguish, means that uh, you can see, you know, it means that uh, your experiment might be able to see. See, use the eyes. It means there must be an observation. Like gas given out. Like gas given out. Ah, like PPT. Like change of color. Ah, like KMLO4 is decolorized. Or potassium chromate is changed from orange to green. The kind of thing, change in color. Okay, so you must have something of a gas given up bubbles, PPT, the color of the PPT, and change the color of the solution. All this, either one of them must be here. To distinguish means you must see something when you put a reagent inside. Okay, to all these things here. So now they say, oh, ah, here also one more thing. Uh, solubility also can, it will dissolve. Uh, dissolve means it will red. So there are four. Four ways to see whether a reaction occurs or not, okay? So by the use of two reagents here, sodium hydroxide equals it and sodium carbonate, <clears throat> okay? So three marks. So we're gonna look at this, okay? I told you these two is in. This one is in the syllabus, but this is not in the syllabus, right? But you have to know anyway. So one more is uh, more specific about bubbles. Okay, look at that, page 319. Remember to give you the homework afterwards. Okay. 319, uh, here, fantastic question. Five marks, look at the five marks, huh? 
啊，有啲人實你俾先，流口水啊，你先咯。哇 ，so much marks man for this stupid thing. You know? It's very simple. A series of experiments are carried out in which the region shown on the top, ah, on top here, water. This is your phenol. This is a benzoic acid. Ah, this is your hexanol. Ah, see hexanol. Ah, they give you here. It's just like a aliphatic alcohol. That's all hexanol. Alright, on top of the column, table is mixed in turn with each of the regions on the side. Ah, three is not ah sodium. This actually so ah this potassium hexanol. Just just change it. Just 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 Okay, so as I put on here, can be any OH equals that they are very specific. That means got water here. Okay, and then what? Sodium carbonate. Ah, alama here. All the three given, right? Complete the table by writing each box in the formula. Any guess? Ah, they want the formula for any guess. The formula, my friend, of any guess here. Put hydrogen in it. Okay, which means look for any hydrogen or. Okay, write X when there's no guess. Must put X. So don't be an idiot. Leave it blank, okay? You fools, okay? The first column is completed, easy, right? Sodium and water, right up here. No reaction, reaction. Now here, of course, sodium being a very strong base, very awesome. Huh? So it's H two gas. Yes. Ah, okay. I will. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't destroy you. Uh, you do it later, okay? Now, so remember, it comes out. So now let's go back here and see how the theory is. Fifty-eight. Uh, okay, let's start. Theory will tell you what here. I remember the page now. No, otherwise, uh, see, jam again. I don't know why. I must switch off for internet. Too long here. Okay. Now the theory. You can see, ah, uh, I put it smaller. Okay. All right. Now remember, I I put out the three. Look, see, are the three here? You can put water if you want to, lah. Uh, no problem with that. Okay, you can put water you want to, but no need lah. This one is this one. I took I took it from uh, Holderness, as I said. I must give due respect to the guy who did it. Uh, and it came out, no, uh, thirty forty years ago, man, it still come out because it's chemistry. No, you cannot change chemistry. Okay, sodium. Remember, sodium is a very strong base, and this, even this this, of course, if we put here, go. Okay, this increase in what? Increase in acidity, is it? Acidity. Okay. Here will be going up what? Be what? Increase in, in base strength. Okay, we put base uh, strength of base. Okay, better lah. I won't use base strength of the base. Okay. So now here. Sodium, we react. I uh, get bubbles in it. See, effervescence of what hydrogen gas in the question they ask you for the gas. Now here, down here, I put down the equation. <coughs> see now, okay, look at yourself. Okay, sodium, give your uh, this. This called your feet. This is called what? Who, who can tell me? Sodium ethoxide. Okay, you want to put here is ethoxide like phenoxide. This called sodium ethoxide. Okay. Right, like this of course now now for for phenol, <clears throat> for phenol you all you will I didn't put here. Okay now let's say I put I put here phenol. Okay, we C six H six ah sorry C six H five O H plus sodium also give up. Okay, you form your C six H five O and A. Remember this positive dot negative plus ionic no plus H two. Of course, it be two here. And two here, balance off. Okay, so this this sodium what right? sodium. What, phenol phenoxide. Phen phenoxide. Okay, sorry, we do here. Don't mind. Okay, right. Same thing. If you if you want to put for your here, see now give up here. So this form and see for your benzoic acid also same thing. All right. Or if I put the equation in better, okay, so can see easier. C six H five C O O. Now before I go on, I want to tell you a <clears throat> a, a problem first. Uh, if of course here they didn't say lah. Okay. Now this is a uh, this is a liquid. By the way, you know ah, uh, well, alcohol liquid. This is a solid now. <clears throat> and this is solid. At room temperature, RTP. 
You can't put water to dissolve your phenol. You can't put water to dissolve your benzoyl acid. Why? Because the water will react with your sodium not. Okay? So to do this reaction here, this must be melted. Melted. You heat it to melt it. Melted. Same thing here, he must say melted. One year they ask. Melted. Melted. Okay? And here, down here, later here, uh, for, for, for your sodium carbon here, right? Uh, you can put water, water here, water, it must be dissolved in water to see this reaction. Okay, so you can must see this is called experimental techniques, so you need to know. Right now, here, remember, here melted, you put some that wow, you get effervescence of hydrogen gas. Or you get same thing here, you put get okay. Now, this one here, of course, you get what you get your same thing here, sodium. Okay, you see, benzoate. Ah, it's called sodium benzoate, famous one, sodium. Ben so it uh, okay salt so so it different from here yes here's the phenol side okay so benzoate and of course plus what your hydrogen gas you need to put two and two and two they will ask you for this equation my friends okay my dear beloved students uh, you better break up okay equations okay so melted melted so all we right all you get your hydrogen gas, like for example, here you can see where's the do X. Okay, it's enough. All hydrogen gas. Okay, this is the equation now. Yeah, so they oh, uh, did they ask you uh, did they ask you a question now? Oh, good for you. Like. Okay, but let's go back to here. Uh, second one, of course, uh, with any OH, remember this NOH equals always with A equals ah. So with your alcohol, no reaction, remember this. Uh, with some here. It will dissolve, you know, dissolve. It means it react. Remember? So it will give a reaction like here, all right, here. Okay, here. All right? So this is solid. This liquid here, the aqueous here, it will dissolve. Dissolve means, why dissolve? Remember, PAS salts are all solvable, you know, for all sodium salts are solvable. If you don't know PAS, uh, you idiot. Potassium, ammonium, sodium salts are all soluble. This, this is on solubility rules, isn't it? Soluble. BLE. This solubility was will dissolve. Okay? So same thing. Here, also your 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 benzo acid also will dissolve. Okay? With any wage. You if I mean to put down here, I can put down for you. Lah. Okay? Benzo acid C six H five C O O H plus any wage will dissolve. Now you want to put the accurate thing is solid here and it's equals here. Okay. When you read, don't just look at the video as you look at the video, uh, write down things, okay? Do your own little notes here and there. You got your hunyon, write your thing there. Uh, don't just take this example, uh, uh, and don't do it with your heads. Use all your senses to study. I tell you, otherwise you will fail. You, all of you are fools, I tell you. Okay, get a salt with C6H5, COO minus an NA plus. Uh, and of course, what? And of course, your water is in it. Yeah, water here. No need to put the times two already because it's a, it's the aqueous. Why? Sodium salts. All PAS salts are soluble. This is your liquid. You want to put this. Okay. Right. So remember, equations are very important. So remember, these two will dissolve. Ah, later you see the question come up. Right? Okay, these two will dissolve. Okay, these two will dissolve. Okay, this one, this one will not. Uh, well, it's it's. Don't say it will dissolve or not, it, it doesn't matter. It must dissolve liquid, isn't it? Right? But later, the you want all, all solids, right? Later, later, okay. All right, now. Next, of course, is sodium carbonate. Ah, I told you for sodium carbonate, this one here, right? This one here, it must be put in water, heat it up, heat it in water, heat in H2O to dissolve it. Okay, same thing here. Heat in water to dissolve it before you put your sodium carbonate right now you must dissolve otherwise the solid here won't react right so after that when it dissolve in here ah your it your your, your phenol won't give no no reaction okay say only that but actually we, when we do experiment like, there's some reaction like, i don't care like, okay we say only there's no reaction okay phenol no reaction but ah for your benzoic acid that will effervescence of co2 okay Right? I put out here. See, I put the thing here. Because it's not come out one year. Let's see uh, what is the experimental uh, procedure you will do before you 
do this experiment. Okay, you heat it in water to dissolve it before you put a certain carbonate, carbon dioxide. And here I'll give you the equation. Okay, you can go and write it in your notes or whatever. Right? Equation. Now look at this. Now of course now one more before we go on. Okay, now benzyl alcohol. Why benzyl? Why benz? Okay, I'll tell you. Huh? C six plus one. Okay, right. So it's benz, benz and benzoic acid. Okay, uh, your your benzoic. All right, seven carbons here with a ring. So this one will behave just like the same acidity as your ethanol. Okay, but this is a uh, solid. You can see, of course, one question came up. Uh, actually, the one is hexanol. I forgot whatever. All right, now let's go. To, let, let's go to the question now. Okay, I I run over the question with you already. But let's look at the question now in detail, page 71. Okay, today we will, I think we'll finish quite soon. Okay, now here, remember this question here, if you look at it carefully, I'll put it bigger. Now. Okay, now remember this one here, ethyl 4 hydroxy benzoate. Why benzoate? One carbon plus six, not. Okay, benzoate, it's called benzoate. Ethyl means. Uh, that means the CH5 here. Okay? 4 hydroxyl. Why 4 hydroxyl? 1 carbon, first carbon, 1, 2, 3, and 4. 4 carbon. Okay. 4 hydroxyl. Okay, hydroxyl. Benzoic. Benzoic means what? This one plus here. Okay? C6 plus 1 carbon. Okay? So eta means this one here. Okay, you know the name. Okay, two functions with done. Okay, now here, of course, is your E. Yeah? Uh, we focus on the uh, phenol. Of course, here, uh, right, draw your structures and compounds for E. Now go and do yourself with sodium. Ah, sodium means only what? For sodium, who will react? There are two function groups, only this part will react. Okay, no, no, only sign here. Here, don't have. Ah, with this one here, two will react. Here will give you your, remember, your Na plus. Dot, O minus, and draw the whole structure here. Now here, very important, remember not, here we'll, we'll I don't know how to it, ah, see? We anyway, here of course, when you hydrolyze, you give your carboxy acid, or not? I'll just put on here first, huh? okay? So you get here, sorry, now, two parts here, okay? Here we we'll also undergo like that. So here, and of course, undergo here is C, O, and, now, of course, it goes to OH first, you know, plus your ethanol. But because it's NaOH, here's a regular to give you your, your CO, O, and O minus, and what dot? Na plus. Ah, very important. These two parts must have it, otherwise, you won't get a mark. Now, watch, see. Go and do it yourself. Right? Don't just look, ah, 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 don't care, okay? You, I tell you, uh, you first all. See now. See here. Where is it going? Okay, see, all right? Now, the first one, okay, only this one. Okay, second one, here, and see not, ah, see? They want here, they want the salt, the sodium salt, not the carboxy acid, okay? Right, because undergo hydrolysis, if it's acid hydrolysis, here will not change, right? It'll be OH here, if it's acid hydrolysis. C6H4, I don't know, okay, I can put like that here, and here is COOH, you know. This is if it's acidic hydrolysis. Acidic hydrolysis and heat. Okay? So, but it's basic hydrolysis. So, it's an end of it. Now, one mark is for this one here, my friends. Okay, so you have two marks here. Okay? So, be careful. It's not as easy as you think, okay? Now, with bromine, equals, you know, ah, activate the rings in. So, so, if activate the ring, which part will react here? The two and four is in, but four is occupied. So be BR here and BR here. See now. Okay, you can see down here. Not this one. Not this one. I say which one? Never mind. I look again. Huh? Zero three or oh, zero three. See now. Now this now this two parts. See now. Okay? Position two, position two, and position four. See now. Okay? Are you no? Both. Because why? Because the ring is very activated, isn't it? Why? Because the electron pair here overlaps the pi electron cloud here to activate. No only FeBr3 to, to, to bring out the Br minus or Br positive. So here cannot. 
so here remain as it is okay so see how they do it again now this part here ah uh, this part is the tricky part okay see compounds f g f and g are isomers of e this are all why isomers all these three factors here have the same uh, same molecular formula why isomers same i'm going to put in red red ink better same what molecular formula ah but different different what different what structural formula okay if you ask you that you should know okay so this tree e f and g we are asked you now okay put the order we've done this already right based on the relative acidity suggests how the samples e f and g could be distinguished ah observation from each other by use of sodium hydroxide uh, equals and your any two co3 equals of course remember here you must know that this filler is a, is a solid ah why solid because of the benzene in large shrink high molecular mass also it's a solid also it's a solid all are solid <coughs> with the ring one normally all are solids okay so remember if you use any way here right this is the medium base of course who will not dissolve the alcohol is it okay so the f will not be soluble insoluble okay in your NaOH ah but your carbon is it soluble in any which ah your phenol soluble it's not okay so the first of course is well g and e will be will are soluble in any which but this f is also it means the first thing you use it, i can distinguish f from e and g already second one when i put sodium carbonate onto g and e who will give me effervescence only Ah, G, give a carbon dioxide. Okay, something you don't have. See? Now, for I think three marks. Three marks, man. Fantastic. How do you solve this problem? Okay, zero three, huh? Now look at here. Marking scheme. Very simple. Okay, so okay, one mark for acidity, okay? See the the the, the bottom part first, okay? E and G are both dissolved in any way. Yeah, see? Okay. Only G gives up carbon dioxide. Uh, only G. See, easy, isn't it? So the theory backs up for this part of kind of questions. Okay. So remember, the, the, the syllabus give you a blah blah blah. Now we have finished. But one more thing, huh? uh I don't know where I say just now. Sometimes I forget so many things. Fifty-nine. Let's see. Okay. I want to show you um, the Anish. And it's two things. I, 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 wait, wait. I show you some of Very important. Uh, you know, someone quote this is. I cut it from the from the website. Sometimes people can't or cannot learn except from the mistakes. So mistakes are very good because you can make all the mistakes before the exams. Make the mistake now, right? But you must learn. See, yes, can't learn. That means you are idiot, you're dumbo, you're bloody gundo, you're bodo, no. You're not bodo, are you? You can't do A levels, you must be not quite clever. Some of you in my class, you must be very, very clever. You're idiots. You must learn from your mistakes. It's a painful way when prevention is better than cure. I always say, right, an ounce, ounce or a gram. <laughs> Sorry, ounce O ounce of the O and ounce O and C. Ah, uh, no, an ounce. Okay, an ounce. Ounce. Ah, Mr. Rice. Oh, never mind. Or oh, gram. A gram. M E or M whatever. A, a gram. Or an ounce of prevention. Is better. Then a pound, a pound, P O U N D, ounce, O N O Z, actually, okay, an ounce and a pound, or better than a kilogram of cure. 
Why? You want to go and get sick and then get cured. Don't get sick. Why not? Prevent yourself from being sick. Don't get, you know, this COVID-19 and then get cured and then after that, huh, you get all tired and you get all the afterwards, all the symptoms again. <clears throat> Don't get it. Wear a mask. Right? Wash your hands. Keep your social distance, whatever. But sadly, <clears throat> some people never learn from past mistakes. So you don't learn. They keep on doing it. Thus the saying goes, those who don't learn from history are warned now. Interesting. I thought it's a bit OMT, but it's not. A bit OMT. There's no, there's no apostrophe here. There's no. I'll rub it off. Huh? There's no. Ah. It's the bit OMT. Word. Word means what? Go ahead now. You go ahead, go ahead check up. It means a happy true. Habitual. 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 It means you keep on. I won't. I habitual to repeat the mistake. It means you in exams you meet here, you make it you make it in AS, you make it A2, you make it in A2, July, A2, August, A2, December, A2, January, A2, February, A2, March, May, July comes at uh, A2 exams. You still make it during the A2 exams. It means you're an idiot. I know. But sadly, some of you will. Because you never learn from your past mistakes. Learn it and then avoid it. Okay? Enough preaching. Now, <clears throat> where am I? Uh? I'm a gundu. Okay. Uh, ah, okay. Now let's go through. I finished all these things already, okay? I finished, like you look at it carefully here. Yeah? I finished teaching all these things and in pretty good detail, I must say. Uh, this thing. This, this, how do you see? see, it's hanging, you know, so I cannot move it. Never mind. You're going to finish already. Now, here, as I said, if you, no, 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 come on, come on. Because I didn't off it for the whole night, for a few nights already. Now, we have finished all this, huh? With bases, right? With sodium, right? With the nitration and rumination, yeah? Only this one here, we will do later, okay? And with the relative acidities, we have done already, all right? Now, I want to go through just a bit more uh, other things so that we uh, get the whole picture. I put down here, I put down a few things here, uh, you know, for you to look over, all right? Okay, now the comparison. Comparison between ethanol and, you know, you can look at it yourself, okay? Uh, you know, solubility completely here. Uh, this, this is, remember this is a solid, okay? This is a liquid. Pure wise, it will only partially dissolve and completely dissolve in 70. We used to do this experiment. Okay, now remember, every, anyway, she completely dissolved. Remember, not use the test. Yeah. Okay, now PCL5. PCL5 here, uh, here. How, how do you distinguish between ethanol and phenol? Use PCL5. P, PCL5 because of the carbon. Remember, not PCL5 will attack any OH you know, to pick this bond. Right? So you are uh, with uh, steaming fumes of HCl. But here, because the carbon oxygen bond is very strong, because the ring is in on, right? Very strong. So it won't break. So there's no fumes. See, no fumes. No steaming fumes. Ah, no reaction. Remember this. Okay? Now, acylation with acyl chloride. We done this before, okay? So uh, now when we do this again later, acyl chloride here. This acyl chloride is a very reactive fellow because this bond is very weak, highly distorted, highly polarized, so it can come out easily, okay? So you can form the ester and the HCl. All right? Here also can. Uh, here, remember, this is a bad, this is a bad, this is a ring, yeah? okay? This is the only way, remember? See? Oh, no. Come out. You can form this ester. Very important now, this, this is ester. Okay? Right? Ester. You cannot, however, make ester with your carboxy acid. Later, I'll show you. Uh, not here. Okay. That's it. Now, uh, now, uh, let, let, let me just put it here. Alright? Let's say I've got a carboxy acid. A CH3, C number one O and O H one. And Acid, con h 2 so 4 and all the works and reflux. Okay, 
Here, I will get my, my ester here. Why? Here, because you know that CH3, I'm going to put the alcohol first, uh, right? 3, CH, HL, and your alcohol here. I'm going to reverse the drawing here as I always do in class. It's not CH3. Now, this one, remember, Sakamawa, not? Okay, to give you an ester. CH3, CH2, O, and your C, one O, and your CH3, huh? okay, plus water. But here, no reaction, no. You cannot make an ester. Why? Because, huh? because the, the reason is because this, this fellow here is a solid. Okay? Uh, I don't, see, no, there's no reaction here. Here's no reaction. Remember this. Okay? No reaction. No reaction. I, I show you, huh? It came up before. Okay? No reaction. Now, uh, in uh, James, uh, the Singapore book, it actually tells you that. Okay? Uh, later you can see here. See, hanging here. Okay, here. All right? Now look at here. Uh, okay, remember now. Uh, this is a comparative. This is a very good summary. See? Esterification now. Uh, yeah? Flux up. Uh, here, guys, uh, here, no reaction. An exam actually came out. Here, no reaction. Ah, only you get your ester, you use your acyl chloride. Very important, okay? Now, these two are very, this looks very mild for the, but came on exams. PCL5, all this, and say, okay, here, got reaction, here, no reaction. Okay, HX, remember, this concentrator, right? here, got reaction, here, right? Here, of course, you're here, like, 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 HBR, HCL. I'm just trying to find the, think of the place, and show you. Now, my, after, when you do the question, you know. Uh, bromine here, okay. Uh, now this is the whole thing. The uh, the hydration also can here. So this is the whole thing very good. They will give you, this whole thing here is a it's a, it's a comparison of your uh, aliphatic alcohol and your aromatic alcohol. You know, okay. Look at it yourself. All right. Can. Okay. Now here I've done it already. Yeah. Uh, right on your on your reduction here. Okay. Now just. Uh, now here bromination, I can see that. Uh, here I talk about uh, here one now one more thing. Uh. FeCl3 very common. This is a this is done in form five actually. They do IGCSC. FeCl3 is yellow color solution. Okay. Now you put this into a carboxylic acid. Uh, all those IGCSC. You should know. You don't know, and you I uh, don't know as a teacher. And you and right. And you put some annuation inside here, and you put drop by drop this one here. You get this whole thing here turning from yellow uh, to orange color. Very important. Okay, it's like you, you, your test tube here. This is your this thing here, and you drop inside here, and then uh, here on top here's your FeCl3, and this part here would be orange color. Very nice. I used to do this. We are the boys because you do it. Okay. This is this is to show the presence of your ethanoid ethanoid ion ethanoid ion. Okay, same thing, huh? Here you can do your your phenol plus some NOH and put it on here. You get this thing here. You get a purple color. Ah, uh, came up before. But this to show uh, to distinguish uh, your 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 phenol from your ethanol. But of course, there are other ways to distinguish. You can use bromine water, as well, or you can use your, uh, di your dichromate. Okay? Right? Dichromate uh, for your primary alcohol, it will turn from orange to green. Very simple. Okay, your carboxy acid, right? Okay, here no reaction. So there are three ways, four ways. Bro bromine water for, for phenol, you get your YPPT of tribromol. Uh, here, I put down here. So, uh, reactivity is it. You can see down here. Because this one here put cool electron to the ring. So a bit only. So this is very super charged for actually. See, the bromine water rich brown become decolorized. So there are two observations here. The bromine water is colorized, and secondly, YPPT. Okay, I explained here already. Right? Same with nitration, or not? Get your trinitro. Okay, now this is a pop the pop pop in your in your, holiday, your, in your festival time or high raya or deeper valley or Chinese New Year. You throw the pop pop the new thing on the ground, this is the one. Acid, okay, 
So you can look over yourself. Now, because of time factor, uh, I uh, before that, okay, I want to show you. I finished already, huh? All right, all finished already. You can read over the extra stuff yourself. Huh? I can't go to everything with you here. Okay. Uh, now, I have here, I show you first. Huh? I have here, uh, okay. Now, this is the homework that I'm supposed to show, but I forgot to show. Okay, A means uh, two part two, and all this here. Okay, for BR2, for nitric acid, for your acid correct, blah, blah, blah. Okay, addition, orientation groups in up here, and not. Okay, now, for summary. Now, these are all reactions here. Okay, now you can scroll down slowly yourself and look at the pages and look at picture, whatever. All right, this is in Word. Okay, I'll probably put it up in your Google Classroom. Now, the other one, of course, is your. Um, see, no, this one. The one more. Finals now, finals, finals now. Finals. Okay, now, uh, uh, today one. Okay, SCT. Now, these are all the I quote already, right? Now, here is your bring reaction, okay? And scheme now, these schemes here. Okay, here's got some schemes. Uh, okay, you can look at oh, the means the overall reaction, okay? Uh, try and do them yourself. Remember, we're supposed to have a discussion uh, maybe after next week. If you want to, if you don't want to, I rest, uh, I go shopping. Uh, uh, what else? You don't want to study, don't do, up to you. Remember, right? Make mistakes now and learn from mistakes. So you don't learn from mistakes, you will continue to make a habitual. You will won't make a mistake as a lifestyle. Okay, so I finished here. So I want to stop recording. What do I do? Okay, here. Stop recording. <laughs>